University libraries from Chicago to Vancouver are burying their printed book collections in underground climate-controlled storage vaults, retrievable by robot librarians should they ever be required. The sad fact for book lovers is that printing on dead trees is in decline, and nowhere is the electronic book in greater ascendance than in textbook publishing. It's not that our students are demanding e-books. In fact, a study Academica group conducted for Campus Stores Canada two years ago found that just 8% of students preferred electronic books to physical ones. However, 4% said they had no preference, and 46% said they would prefer to have both formats. So in effect, 58% of college and university students in the study saw some value in e-books to some degree, even though they had complaints about technical glitches and tech support. In 2012, OCAD University students caused a national media stir when they complained that their $180 art history textbooks contained no art whatsoever. All the expensive color visuals appeared in online components, not the printed book. Like it or not, the evolution of the textbook from paper to ebook is inevitable, although it may be gradual. The $9 billion textbook industry sees far greater profit margins on ebooks, whose access codes can't be shared, resold, or borrowed from the library. The cost of traditional post secondary textbooks has skyrocketed almost as fast as the cost of tuition. American surveys suggest that about 70% of undergraduate students never actually buy required textbooks. 70%. In recent years, a number of Canadian campuses have experimented with various ways to ensure that every student gets their textbooks. In 2010, the Northern Ontario School of Medicine started issuing free iPads to every student, preloaded with interactive medical apps, reference materials, and collaboration tools. In 2012, Sudbury's Collège Boreal announced that all full-time first-year students would receive a free iPad thanks to a generous donor. In 2013, Olds College in central Alberta announced their mobile integration project. We will be the first fully integrated iPad learning environment in Canada. We are future-proofing the college for the digital generation. Every incoming student would get a free iPad and all programs were finding ways to make use of them. And now I can level. Now I can control water remotely. I can order parts. Now I can input. I can research. I can relate. Now I can collaborate. Evaluate. Investigate. Identify. Now I can manage. Over the past few years, Algonquin College has been piloting a new program to see that 100% of their students receive free electronic textbooks for their courses. Algonquin struck an aggressive deal with major textbook publishers, getting the cost of each book down almost 50% and rolling the costs into student fees. Students are saving millions of dollars, but more importantly, grades are improving significantly. Algonquin estimates that the program has saved nearly 600 students a year from failing their courses, just because they had the textbooks. Governments have been looking at ways to overcome the textbook cost barrier for several years now. In September 2012, the state of California announced that it would fund the creation of free online open source textbooks for the top 50 college courses. One month later, the government of British Columbia followed suit, announcing $1 million to fund BC campus to create open source textbooks for the top 40 first and second year courses. From math and chemistry to psychology and business, these free peer-reviewed electronic textbooks are available for use anywhere in the world. In 2013, BC added 20 more open texts for skilled trades and technology programs. As of this fall, BC campus has more than 80 open textbooks available and 50 more in the pipeline. Takashi Saito, a physics professor at Kwantlen Polytechnic University, has spoken to the media about saving his students thousands of dollars on a 1,000-page, $200 textbook. Last week, the government of Manitoba announced its own open textbook initiative, funding academic reviews of 25 BC campus textbooks for use in Manitoba classrooms. Open textbooks are a low-cost way for governments to score political points and save students money. I think we're going to see more provinces jump on board before long. Whether electronic textbooks are open source or rolled into student fees, at least every student will have the book. If they arrive at class unprepared, it's their own doing. Thanks again for taking 10 with me. Please subscribe to the Eduvation channel on YouTube or the 10 with Ken podcast on iTunes. For exclusive early access, subscribe to my email newsletter, The Eduvation Loop. I hope to see you next time. Oh,